Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Craft Stash Live. Um, it's a lovely day out, so I'm so pleased you can join us here. I've got not only some amazing prizes to be giving away today, we've got the announcement of winners from Craft World Prizes, but even more importantly than that, we have got a special guest with us coming through the power of the internet. We have got Claire of Daisy May Design. She is going to be joining us for the whole hour from, an, from her own home. So we'll be um, chatting to Claire in just a moment. Now, um, as always, there are prizes. There's huge prizes. Now, I'm talking today, we are going to be announcing the winners of over £400 worth of product. That is phenomenal. So this is split into three prizes. So two of these prizes, you are going to be able to win Daisy May Design product, two huge bundles at the end of this hour. So how do you need to win those? So what you need to do is be commenting for us. I'm going to talk you through, along with Claire, what Daisy May Design stamps and dies have been about lately. So we've seen the village. We've seen the beautiful bakery and such. We've also seen the faraway forest. But what is going to come next? So we'll tell you a little story. And then if you can comment, what would you like to see next in the village? Because Claire's got almost got her pencil in her hand. She's ready to draw some new designs for you. But she wants to know what she going to draw. Where are we going to go? I mean, are we we've been to the cake shop. Are we going to go to a florist? Maybe are we going to go uh, maybe go sit in the park? Who knows? So uh, share your ideas with us. Share with your friends as well. Because there's such huge, huge prizes here, make sure you're sharing and tagging with all your friends, crafty or not. Um, allow them to join us. So that could be tagging them with that little at sign, um, sharing on your page, maybe create one of these uh, watch parties and things as well. You know what you're doing on Facebook. I don't really. So um, let's have a look, first of all, at quickly the Daisy Made product that I've got. And then we're going to jump over to Claire and say hello to her as well. Um, let's have a look down here. So I have got, just switching cameras there for you, I have got two of the sets that we are talking about today. So the first one, we have... Well, this actually came after what Claire's got, so we're probably doing this in the wrong order. But I've got the beautiful village here. Now, um, we've seen these on her channel lately, but if you have missed them, they are gorgeous. So we've got the church. I'll whiz through these very, very quickly, and then we'll get to Claire because she's got some exciting things to show us and tell us about as well. So we've then got the village in bloom there with the flowers and the beautiful lamp. I love that. The bench and the little dog. And of course, all of these come with the dies that coordinate as well. We have there got the lich gate and the floral arch. Perfect for going with the church. These all have sentiments with them too that coordinate beautifully and those outline dies. We've got the church window. This is stunning. I can't wait to get colouring that one in. And there's the die that coordinates. We have got, now this is very important for um, jo can, joining in with Claire. So this is the country lane. So this is where her faraway forest has come from, which she's going to talk to you about in a moment. And I love that signpost there as well. And around here we've got um, different words that you can actually fit into the signpost, like happiness, journey, new job, start, home. So that's fantastic. We've also got, of course, the outline die to go with that. And then we've got some beautiful floral blooms along with the dies. So this is the village. Now, we've got the bakery as well. I'm going to flip through this in a moment, but I'd really like to get over to Claire to tell us how we've gone from the faraway forest into the bakery. Now, don't forget, you are going to be able to win one of these two sets and these below by commenting on this. Now, I need to also announce very quickly before we see Claire, we have a winner already to announce. If you're part of Craft World and if you're not, why are you not? It's completely free and there are giveaways, competitions, challenges. There's lots of inspiration over there. Make sure you join Craft World because Lou Moo, I hope I'm saying that right. If your username over there is Lou Moo, you have already won one of these sets 
plus the di uh, one of these. I think it's the bakery. I think it's the bakery one. We've got a lot going on today. So Lumu, if that's your username, you have won from the Craft World competition that Claire posted earlier this week. That was on Tuesday. So that's how easy it was to win. Um, just post, comment and such like. So let's get over to Claire. Um, I'm sure she's got something to say to Lumu. I hope I'm saying that. It's Lumu or Lomo. L-O-O-M-O-O. -O -O -O. That's a winner. Congratulations. One set will be winging its way to you. Let's get over to Claire and say hello to her now. So hello, Claire. Hi, Lou. You okay? Very well, thank you. Are you? Yeah, this is all very strange to me. <laughs> it, it is. It is strange. We're doing what we can, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So, Claire, you are... It, it, it's different. It's fun, but it's different. We'll make it fun. So Claire, it's really good to see you. I've had a few of the Facebook Lives now on my own for a few weeks. So it's so nice to be joined by somebody. And um, you are the designer of all the Daisy May products. I am the designer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're all hand-drawn by yourself, is that right? All hand-drawn on the pen, on paper, and then turned into stamps. Lovely. So they have this really whimsical, cute feeling about them. They really do, don't they? Yes. And my fav one of my favourites, I can't pick a favourite, one of my favourites is the one that you were going to talk to us about, the Far Away Forest. So right. would you um, like to talk to us a little bit about that, first of all? Okay. I was asked to um, design a take on a forest. Mm -hmm. So my imagination went into overdrive. And I created these. I don't just tell me if you can see them. Yes, we can see them perfectly. Little elves. So we've got Pocket Elf. Beautiful. We've got Elf with Dandelion. Lovely. And Elf with um, Lanterns. That's gorgeous. Okay. I so love them. I then had to design homes for them, which I did. Mm hmm. And then um, I went for a little wander in the forest one day to see how they were all doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, they were all busy washing and keeping their lovely little homes tidy. So they didn't really have time to stop and uh, speak to me. Aww. So I, I wished them well. <laughs> and I walked back. And I walked back down the country lane. Ah, so the country lane is part of the village collection. It is part of the village collection and this is part of the country lane stamp. Okay, just a section of it. Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic, that's beautiful. Thank you, and this is our little dog, Harry. Oh, we've just our... seen him, haven't we? Yep, named after our little dog at home, okay. And I was walking down this country lane and I came across the village. Of okay. course. And I was wondering, and I just had to stop and just admire this beautiful village gate, which was festooned with these beautiful flowers because there was some newlyweds in the village. That is so, gorgeous. Yeah, so there were some beautiful things. And they just got married at this church. <laughs> <laughs> communion card, holy communion card. Close enough. Okay. And with all this activity, I'm going to move on to the bakery now. Oh, oh, we, that would... got these delicious aromas coming from the bakery. Oh, Love that. Absolutely love that. Was, they had a beautiful tea room upstairs. <laughs> I'd love to visit there. I really, really yeah. would. This actually ties in really beautifully with another competition that I need to announce. So I'm, I know you've got something hiding behind you and I'm going to come yeah. back to you in a moment. Okay. So hiding behind her, I'm not going to tell you, she can show you in a moment. We have another competition to announce. So not only can you win one of two bundles, not only have we already given away one bundle today from Craft World, but we also have another competition that is going to be huge. And it's something that you can be working on at home 
regardless of what product you already have. Okay, so um, now we're talking about the bakery. We're talking about cakes, yummy cakes. Many people are in at the moment and they are actually baking more and cooking more, um, which many children, my children, my husband is very grateful for. So what we would like you to do is bake a cake, buy a cake, buns, cheesecake, whatever it may be, and decorate it using product from Craft Stash. Now, it could be something from Daisy May Designs. It could be something from another collection. You have until next Thursday to create something and upload a photo. Now, there's a few different ways you can do this. Okay, so this could be over on Craft World. I will talk to you more about Craft World in a moment. Um, so upload your, your makes and your bakes. I've got mine here. Claire's got hers as well. We'll see that in a moment. Um, you can also upload them. There will be a Facebook post and an Instagram post, so you can upload things there too. Um, but essentially what you want to know is what can you win. So the winner, winners of this, there's five winners, are going to win each £100 to spend at Craft Stash. That is huge. That's amazing. So you need to be getting your dies, your stencils, your stamps, whatever it may be. It could be that you're decorating directly onto your cake. It could be that you're actually decorating, making toppers with your product. Any craft stash tools or products, okay? Of course, Daisy Mae's Bakery and Village go really, really perfectly with this. And we'll see Claire's example in a moment. I'm going to show you mine quickly and I will be uploading this. Um, if you need more details, please do pop over to Craft World because there should be a post up there now that you can read the details from. Do you want to see my cake I've done? So I, I knew that Claire was going, look at that. So I knew that Claire was going to be using her Daisy Made Design product to do hers. I have used something from Christina Griffith. Okay, of course, exclusive to um uh, to craft stash so I've used her numbers there I've used some of her dies and cut out paper as stencils as well so the numbers are actually cut out and I've used the negative to sprinkle icing sugar through so there's one example and I'll get my photos up very soon so I don't think I'm going to be able to win anything I do think I'm exempt from that but I will be uploading as will um, our boss she's going to, she's going to be baking this weekend and uploading lots of the team are and Claire let's come back to you and see um, what you've been doing well, this is a bit heavy okay um, just tell me oh wow that is beautiful so have you used like wet icing through the stencil? No, I've not. I've just baked a Victoria sandwich mm -hmm. and like you also, I've put some pictures of pasta and then I've coloured some normal sugar with food gel. Oh wow, that's clever. I baked it dry mm -hmm. and then this morning I've placed I've used uh, the doily stencil from the new bakery range. Which is perfect. Which is perfect, yeah, in the centre of the cake. And then, oh, I've just added some sugar to the sides of it. Perfect, that is beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I know you're going to put po uh, pictures up as well. Mm -hmm. um, I will be putting pictures up. Let's just have a look now. Now, there are lots of other ways that you can win, not only with um, with this Facebook Live, but with Craft World. So we've already talked about popping over there and reading more details about this, uh, baking this cake stencil competition. Um, we've already announced a winner from Craft World. But if you're wondering, well, what is this Craft World? So you need to pop along to Craft World, okay? Go and have a look over there. Um, it's free to join. It's a brand new social platform that we are absolutely loving at the moment. Myself's on there. Claire's on there. As you can see, she posted her own challenge and we've got this huge winner now. So pop on over there. 
find lots of social things to do, lots of giveaways, lots of uh, challenges and so much inspiration. There's hundreds of people on there already and there's lots of groups and forums that you can be joining as well. So uh, go and take a look, maybe after the live, please don't leave me yet because I've actually got some demonstrations for you as well. So Claire is still on the end of the video call. She is going to be, we're going to be popping back and forth and having a chat with her, but I've actually got to do some um, demos here now because I've got all this product. So let's have a look now down at what I've got. So I have got the village and I've got the bakery. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the village first of all. I'm hoping to get through both collections and have a play with them. I'll pop those ones to the side. But this I absolutely adore. Now this one is the church that is in the village, but I think not only can it be used for christenings, baptisms, uh, weddings, of course, but I think it looks really nice, and I dread to say it on a beautiful day like this, but as a Christmassy the scene, if you see what I mean. So let's have, let's give it a stamp and have a look. Okay, now there's, if you're watching this live, don't forget to comment with where you would like to go after the bakery in the village. Claire needs a little bit of inspiration. I'm sure she's got her own ideas of where we might be going next, but she's almost poised with her pen and she wants to know. We've been to the faraway forest. We've come back into the village up the country lane. We've visited the bakery, but what collection could be next? And it could be that your suggestion is the one that Claire next draws and is on Craft Stash as an exclusive collection next so please do comment with that and that will give you the chance to win one of these two bundles either the village or the bakery now you can see this is a really large die here um really beautiful i'm going to say hello to a few people in a moment i've got my comments flooding through thank you so much all of you so just stamp that and see how beautifully that stamps isn't that gorgeous i've used versafine there they stamp so perfectly every single time. Now, if you're watching this live as well, there's another there's another way of winning a fantastic prize. Now, there's another prize worth £150, again, over on Craft World. I'm really keen for you to get over there and get involved with everything there. So, over on Craft World, we have um, a post up there that will be comment about this live so the question will be what's going on in this live it'll be something about this and you can comment to win a 150 pound prize over 150 pounds so please do make sure you comment on that now i've just stamped the church there and i have cut it out i've got one already cut out but what i did is i i um colored this in quickly now it's really really easy to color and i know claire absolutely loves her Copic pens and I've actually got some on their way to me at the moment she in fact over on craft stash at the moment today there is a fantastic deal on Copics okay if um, we'll talk to Claire about Copics in a moment while I'm coloring this in but you can get 20% off Copics today okay you just need to pop in the code Copic 20 so go and have a look at that. If you've ever thought about colouring in your own images, your stamped images, if you've wondered where to start with them. In fact, let's just come back to Claire and have a chat with her about Copics. So hi, Claire. Hi. Hello again. Um, is this making you dizzy coming back and forth no, to you? No, no, that's all. <laughs> Lovely. Um, could you just talk to us? What do you love about Copic markers? Okay. Um, Copics really have been around for a long, long time much longer than you think. Um, the chows were bought out especially for the, the hobby hobby market. Right. Um, the um, sketch markers have been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I was a graphic designer, that's what we used to use to mock up our samples with. But I always used them. Um, so obviously when they came back on, huge comeback you know from the, the market and I, I just tended to stick with them because I knew how they work yes the, the color tones are very near to each other they're not 
um, I mean, there's lots of different things out, you know, alcohol markers on the on the market. And my preference may not be somebody else's preference kind of thing. Of I just make the, the, the brush end of uh, end on a copic marker. I just because, like I was saying, the colour tones, the colour views are a lot closer together. They're a lot easier to actually blend to get that depth into your work. Perfect, perfect. So um, there's there's a lot going on today. So do the Copics work really well with your Daisy May collections? Yes. They do, yes. perfect. Um, maybe I've become a little blinkered <laughs> what um, I actually use to uh, colour in. Well, I have been using um, polychromos of late as well. Oh, lovely. That's, so that's um, from the bakery? This is from the bakery collection. I'm colouring directly onto craft cardstock. Ah. Really nice. Beautiful. So, that is and gorgeous. Let me just see what I was colouring in something before. Again, from the bakery collection. I've only just received this stamp, and it's the Sweet Shop window stamp. And again... I've gone with polychromos this time. They really show up. Yeah. They really and do. It's a nice feel um, yeah. on the craft card stock. I mean, you can use copics on craft card stock as well. Oh. You know, about blending. Yeah. It's a multitude of things. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, thank you for that insight. So, um, Let's just, I'll just come back to this. So don't forget Copics today. If you're interested in those, have a look on Craft Stash because you can get 20% off by putting in the code COPIC20. So let's just have a look down. I've just started um, doing my colouring here and I, I'm not going to colour in the entire image. I've got one already coloured in, but I want to show you an additional extra that I absolutely love using with any stamping. And that is this. Now, if you are signed up to the Craft Stash emails, you'll have seen today about the diamond dust. That is on offer at the moment, but um, I want to show you how it works. It's really, really beautiful. Now, you can use something as fine as a quickie glue pen, or you can use your wet glue uh, and cover a bigger area. So I'm going to use my Craft Stash glue for this, but with my quickie glue pen, I would go over some small areas. Let me just put a little bit of glue on the roof here and then we'll sprinkle some of this diamond dust. It's absolutely beautiful. I really love it. Let's put a little bit along the bottom here. So imagine this is a wintry scene and it's been snowing. OK, now saying this, you can also use this diamond dust. Um, for your cakes in the bakery, for sugaring and adding sparkle there. So what I love about this is it's it's not like glitter. It's it's nicer than glitter. It doesn't go everywhere. It's not static like gilding flakes. It's actually solid pieces. It actually to me resembles sugar or salt, that sort of size granules. So it's much much easier to clean up and put away. And you don't get things spilling and blowing everywhere. Now, I'm hoping that you can see the sparkle on this. OK, it's really beautiful. The glue underneath will dry clear. And we've got some beautiful snow on top of that church. Now, I've got some pieces from this collection that I've already cut um, and die cut, coloured in, put on my diamond dust. Let me bring these in because I want to build up this card. So I pop this one to the side there. OK. Now there's my four pieces. So my church I've coloured in. Now hopefully you can see the sparkle that we've got. It seems strange on a sunny day, but actually at the moment it's probably the perfect time to be thinking. Can you see those sparkles? I can see them. They're gorgeous. So it's probably the perfect time to be thinking about your um doing your Christmas cards, getting ahead, um, because for me, it's always a rush at the end of the month to do those. Now, along with these stamped images, like I say, I've coloured them in. You could be absolutely using your Copics for this if you wanted to. Um, somebody who's just said here, so Carol Lewis, she wants to try diamond dust. You absolutely should, definitely. Uh, Jane loves it. 
Um, Dawn, it looks so nice. It's like tiny pieces of glass. It's not sharp. It's nice and soft. It does look beautiful. I say soft, but it's, um, I, th I would say it's like um, sugar, I think. Sugar or salt. That's how I describe it. So I've taken the die, the same die as I've cut out this church with, um, the outline die. And what I've done is I've just placed that over a card base. So I've cut the spire off. OK, if I just take the actual die for you so you can see how much I've just made sure that when I cut over my score line. Like so, can you see I've left a little bit off? That's the fold of my card. So I've created my own shaped card base. Now I'm going to glue my elements on the top so this stands up. OK, so there's a few different glues I'm going to use. The first one being my wet glue again for my base. So my church can go down onto here. I need to be saying hello to a few people as well. Um, June Woodhouse, hello. Belinda Blakely, hello. Thank you for joining us and thank you for commenting. So don't forget, you're commenting today. What would you like next to see in the village? What would you like Claire's Daisy May collection to be next? Because um, this is how you're going to win one of two sets of Daisy May collections. So we've got the village to give away with the stencils and the paper pads, which I will run through in a moment. Um, we've also got, what did I say, the village? We've also got the bakery as well. There's so much going on. But once we've gone from the faraway forest through into the village, been to the church, through that beautiful arch, and then we've gone along to the bakery, where should we be going next? This is what Claire wants to know. We want to know. Where are you going to visit next? Because it could actually become a collection, a Daisy May collection. Give us your suggestions, comments below, and we will be picking a winner or two winners for these collections by the end of the hour. So I've stamped here two of the brick walls. Now, this yellow is actually some distressing. After I've done all my colouring, I've just just brush some distressing in a yellow a warm yellow in these two areas you'll see why in a moment so just placing these foam pads down for my brick wall um we've got suggestions we've got library a bookshop village post office or po uh, post office a craft shop a duck pond there's some fantastic suggestions all of you are in in the hat as such to win one of these collections now I just need to trim down my foam pad there because that came up a little bit high. So just using my craft knife. There we go. And the other side as well. I'll do the same. So I'm just bringing these down to the same level as my step there. I don't want my card sort of um, wobbling about. So this is going to be a shaped card. So don't forget that baking competition, that stenciling, cake decorating competition that we've got going on as well. This is using anything from Craft Stash to decorate a cake, some buns. It could even be your mashed potato, whatever it is. Get baking and show us your makes. There's a chance to win over on Craft World. So you are going to be able to um, upload to Craft World your makes. Don't forget, uh, if you haven't joined Craft World yet, there's lots and lots going on over there. Claire's over there. I'm over there. Uh, Christina Griffith is over there. Olga Directorenko is over there. It's all of us have joined. We absolutely love it. We often post challenges, competitions and things, but there's hundreds of other people. Pop on over to there now. There is a post and you are able to read all the details of this cake stencil competition. Essentially, what you want to know is if you enter, what do you win? Well, you are going to win one of five £100 craft stash vouchers. Now, that is well worth looking into, I think. So uh, something for you to be having a go at this weekend. Now, this could be using anything from your craft stash that is available on craft stash. That almost sounds funny. Anything from your craft stash that's available on craft stash. So I've used on mine, which I'll just bring in again in a moment when I finish this card. I have used something from Christina Griffith. Um, of course, uh, Claire, who we'll come back to in a moment, has used um, something from her Daisy May collections, the stencils. 
you could be stenciling, you could be die cutting to create templates, you could be, uh, maybe you can stamp into some royal icing perhaps. Don't forget please only use your uh, products that are really, really clean and not got ink and things on them. So we don't want that, do we? Um, oh, somebody said an antique shop would be a lovely place to go to next in the village. That would absolutely be wonderful. So that is my finished card. Now, as I turn that, I'm hoping you can see those sparkles there. This is a little bit different to the weather outside at the moment. Um, but I just think when you're thinking about buying collections, you need to know that they're going to suit you all year round. And if I just do this, look, that stands up on its own absolutely perfectly. And those, those little bits of glitter the diamond dust are not coming off. They're just held beautifully with any wet glue. You can re oh, you can really see those sparkles there. So let's just pop back. I, actually, do you want to see my cake? Shall we see the cake that I've created for this competition? Not, not that I can actually um, join in, unfortunately. But I do love to have a bit of a baking challenge. So uh, I've got my chocolate cake, icing sugar. The way that I created this stencil was simply to cut two of uh, Christina Griffiths, Griffith's uh, number dies out of a piece of paper and use that as a stencil to stencil through. And then these are some of her die cuts around the edge from paper. I just simply laid them on the chocolate there, sprinkled some su icing sugar around there. So that's my cake. Now for this challenge, let's have a look. Let's come back to Claire and see again. Claire, do you still have your cake with you or have you eaten it? No, not yet, but my office smells gorgeous. Oh, I bet. I'm going to have a piece after the show. Anybody's uh, welcome to join me. <laughs> and a cup of tea? Uh, oh, definitely. So it's, oh, see, that is beautiful. Can you just explain to us again how you did it? Okay, so what I used, I didn't use icing sugar. Um, I've used caster sugar and coloured it with some um, gel food colouring. Beautiful. And then spread it out on a baking sheet, pop it in the oven to dry out. Fish bosh bang. You've got all the different colours. And then just lay the stencil on top and gone down. I will post some photographs off after on my Facebook page to um, show you how I've actually coloured the sugar and stuff like lovely that would be really handy thank you so speaking of cakes we're now going to come back to me and i'm going to come to the bakery um just so that cake competition you can enter that there will be facebook posts so it's hosted on craft stash there will be a facebook post uh, there will be an instagram post as well so any of these you will be able to enter if you pop over to craft world there is a competition as well. There's so much going on. We're giving so much away. There is a competition um, asking about this live. There will be a question. I don't even know what the question is, so I can't give you a hint as to what the answer. But there will be a winner that wins a £150 prize. Now, I've got a sneaky feeling that might be something to do with Copic markers or similar so uh, still a 150 pound prize to pop on over there so that's two separate competitions okay or challenges so the cake one on friday next week when i do my live that's when i will announce the five winners of the cake stenciling decorating competition okay um craft world are going to put details of uh, their competition up craft stash you will see on social posts there'll be details going up i will do a facebook post as well to clarify everything because there's so much going on there's we are giving so much away it's absolutely fantastic so we've already had one winner from craft world today and that is with daisy may's designs lumu she i'd say she i don't know could be a he um if your username is lumu you won um claire's daisy may collection um, competition that was posted on Tuesday on Craft World. Okay, so let's have a look down here. I have now got another project for you, but I want to run through some things that we haven't looked at so much in the past. Now I've got the bakery that I'm going to be doing the um, the tag with in a moment, 
but we've also got these products so we have got the 8x8 paper pad now if you're commenting today and you're letting us know where you want to go next in the village what you next want to see you may be winning these along with one of those stamp sets okay these are three pads we've got the simple spots we've got the gorgeous gorgeous gingham and maybe I should have put my teeth in this morning and we have the simple stripes okay they are absolutely stunning as you can see if I just lay them side by side you can see those colorways how well they all work together okay they are absolutely perfect and I love that we have the gingham for example the spots they are going to work perfectly well and the stripes as well as things like tablecloth backgrounds for your bakery collections so all a part of Daisy May design now we also have some stencils too there's four stencils so I absolutely love this the ditzy flower stencil it does remind me of some wallpaper that I had as a little girl that I adored and I can't get hold of anymore otherwise my daughter's bedroom would be um, using it that is stunning so you could ink through that you could use texture paste we've got stripes as well now a little tip for you if you ink through these one way turn it 90 degrees was that 90 yes and then ink through it again with a different color you're going to get a, a gingham look okay so like a checkered look so that's a really fun one to have we have the doily stencil now we've seen this today already this is what claire used on her cake to um put that sugar through that she was talking about so um and she said she'd put the details of that up on her social posts as well so there's the doily stencil and we've also got the dotty stencil as well so there's those so they are absolutely stunning i'm going to come back to the bakery collection um, so we have got the bakery here with the outline dies as well. Don't forget one of these will be coming out to one of you if you've let us know where you want to go next in the village. Um, we have got the beautiful window here. I absolutely love this one. So the sweet shop window. Who as a child didn't look through a sweet shop window? I think we all did. So we have then got this. You can see I've been using these. I've obviously stamped that in brown. I've stamped that, this in black. And I am not the best at cleaning my stamps, I have to admit. Must try harder. But um, you get the idea. So we've got the Celebration Cake stamp set here, along with the dies as well that coordinate. Now, those dies, of course, will cut out perfectly around the edge. And this is the one that I'm going to be using for my tag. We've then got the afternoon tea. Love that. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I've been using it over and over and over again. If you're a winner, you will be receiving a brand new set. You will not be getting my used set, I promise you. Um, we have then got the afternoon tea dies that cut around the edge perfectly. No more fussy cutting required. We've got the coffee time stamp set. Absolutely love this for anyone who loves their coffee. Um, is maybe maybe breakfast is their favourite part of the day. And of course, we have those dies that cut around the edge too. And then lastly, we have here the the sweet favourites. Now this is the jars of sweets. We've got jelly beans in there, lollipops, and we've got that what to me looks like a Valentine's Day box of chocolate. So again, we are really are covering all year round with these and those outline dies as well so let's take this and i will do a quick demonstration because i think at the end of this demonstration we're going to be getting towards announcing two more winners so we are giving away today we are announcing the winners of over 400 pounds worth of product so one winner has already been been announced this has come from craft world make sure you pop on over there quick google of craft world on any of the social sites or um, a website search rather will just bring up craft world straight away you can have a have a look over there um, we have got um, two more winners as well from the comments too so please let us know where you want to go next in the village I can see so many ideas a toy shop I mean I don't know I hope Claire's taking all of these ideas in they're absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to see where we do go next but let's have a little look at this image when it's stamped it's beautiful so just popping it down here onto smooth white cardstock it's making me hungry I haven't had my lunch yet I hope you're all sitting there with a cup of tea and some lunch there 
look at that. Somebody said a village green, uh, maybe having a picnic, an ice cream parlour as well. These are all such fantastic ideas. I love them. That is a beautiful stamp as well. That is really yummy. Now, if you can make a cake like this over the weekend and enter it into that competition, that's got to be a winner, hasn't it? I'm not quite sure where you're going to use your craft stash product, but I'm sure you can find a way on there somewhere. Do you know what? I'm wondering whether with buttercream icing or maybe mm, some other icing, you could actually stamp your dies into maybe. So don't forget, just enter that competition. You've got until Thursday to enter and next Friday I will be announcing the winner. That's five sets of £100 craft stash vouchers to win, which is absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm going to take the die for this and just show you I'm not going to cut it out but I'm just going to show you how well that fits over absolutely beautifully that is perfect isn't it so I have got one here that I've already cut out and I've colored in so I've colored this in with pencils um, if you're loving your pens and your pencils for colouring and stamped images, don't forget, you can get 20% off at the moment. That's Copics over at craftworld.co.uk. Um, and you just need to pop in the code COPIC20. Now, can you see that sparkle? Oh, look, there we go. Can you see that sparkle on top of those fruit, that fruit, that sugared sparkle? That is using my diamond dust. Now, if you do sign up and you get the... Uh, emails from craft stash this was in the email telling you about the fantastic price that it's at today so I would grab some of those I find it's better than glitter it doesn't go everywhere it doesn't get static like glitter it's larger slightly larger pieces I wouldn't say it's chunks it's more like flakes but as you can see if I pop my finger in there I don't get any on my finger it's like a dry glitter it's just absolutely beautiful there's not much mess with it either which if you if you love the look of glitter but you're not keen on the clean up this might be the thing for you to use so have a look at that the sparkle is absolutely amazing I just wish I had um I don't know what's the vision it's not smell of vision it's the the vision where you can you can touch and feel and play with and see the sparkle that would be great so I've used that with a little bit of wet glue just on the top of this cake there so um, have a look at that now let's bring in my tag so I've cut a tag and I'm using that gingham backing paper that we were just looking at in the Daisy May collection the paper pads so that's an 8 by 8 but you can die cut it beautifully I've also cut because this is a paper rather than a cardstock I've also cut a piece of plain white cardstock there just to back this tag onto and I'm going to use a wet glue. Now I've got my craft stash glue, which actually has two ends. I'll show you this. I think this is really clever. And I'm going off a little bit here, but this has two ends because it has this spready end, what I call the spready end. I don't know if that's a technical term. You can see you can spread over a large area, a nice thin layer with this. And then we have the, um, what's the word? The detail end, the finer applicator at this end as well. So when next time you're picking up some wet glue, uh, pop over to craft stash because not only do they have that they also have foam tape foam pads which I adore I wouldn't go anywhere else for mine now because the backing papers come off really easily and they're a really nice deep foam as well little things like this I think are worth knowing for your stash talking about my stash my husband's currently building me some new um, storage shelving to go above my desk which I'm really excited to show you all again soon I'll be filling that up with product soon so if talking of product and stash, if you need a bit of a top up, this cake competition is uh, running until Thursday. From now, it's, a, it's open now until Thursday. Get baking, go down, pop to the shop when you're, do, when you're grabbing your food, grab yourself a cake base, whatever it may be. It could be buns, it could be, it might even be something like a shepherd's pie rather than a pie pie, a sweet pie. And you could be um, decorating that with anything that's available on Craft Stash. It could be from any collection. Naturally, Daisy May Collection, the bakery does work really, really well. But of course, um, if you've got other things at home at the moment that you want to use, you can do so. I used um, a collection from Christina Griffith. Um, and Claire, of course, has used her Daisy May Collection, which... Just a pre-warning, Claire, we will be coming back and taking another very quick look at that cake and some of your faraway forest in a moment. 
when I finish this tag. So in case she's got a cup of tea and she's starting to eat that cake, put it back because we need to see it again in a moment. So just pop this cake on here and then I'm going to pop the tag through here. Now the way I do my ribbons, I fold in half. I thread through from the front of the tag and then I put my tails through the loop okay and that gives you a nice clean and symmetrical finish to your tags like so there we go and that yellow coordinates really well I've actually got the spotty paper in the background there as well um, somebody said how about a tree house that would be really clever wouldn't it that would be fun that would work really well actually with the far away forest the little elves and such there so um, I'm sure Claire is her mind is probably absolutely buzzing with ideas thank you ever so much everyone we will be picking a winner very very shortly so I cannot wait to be announcing those there we go look at that so I've just added a stamped sentiment there isn't that beautiful you're the sweetest so that's lovely as a tag but you could of course make that into a greeting card as well if you wanted to just as easily so let's come back to claire let's have a look at that cake that she's made and decorated for this competition so hi claire hi hello <laughs> it's still intact it's still intact. Yeah, you've not eaten it yet. No, honestly. No. <laughs> honestly. So <laughs> can you just, I was really intrigued with how you used your stencil on the top of that. Do you mind running through once more? No, I just took the stencil out of the packet, laid it on top of the cake. Mm -hmm. And then with a teaspoon, I just put, um, my first colour I put on was orange, so I went, Every other one orange, every other one yellow. I've not moved the stencil at all. Then pink flowers, and then lilac y triangles, the next one, and <laughs> stitching. So you end up with a mound of sugar. Lovely. Just very gently lifted the stencil off, and that's the pattern. Yeah. beautiful and could I would, you sorry i would say though once you've got your sugar on your stencil just slightly press it down just a little bit just to make sure that it's gone through the holes ah stencil. okay so just as you would if you were using texture paste on a piece of card you'd press it through yeah lovely and we've we've seen so i made a card with the church from the village and we then visited the bakery and had a piece of cake yeah um could you just talk to us um quickly about the faraway forest and how it all links in before we say goodbye to you and we announce some winners okay so it all started off with the faraway forest mm -hmm. And from there, we thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice to create a village theme? And I'm not saying I'll never go back to the faraway forest. That could pop up again. Who knows? <laughs> um, so fantasy isn't everybody's kind of cup of tea, is it? So no. as I say, we had a little wonder, and I came up with the idea of uh, a country lane, and the country lane was um, leading to this village that we're now just like slowly building up piece by piece with each theme that comes out mm -hmm. you know, as well as your sort of like the um, afternoon tea sets. Oh look at that. Okay and um, stems from the tea shop being above the bakery. Yes. Um, so it was just little things like that to look link up but so in effect this might not make sense all the all the buildings will eventually link together but if you don't ah. want the, to actually form a village um but if you don't want that then you've got the the larger stamps as well perfect and the um coffee and croissant mm -hmm. and, um 
chocolate box and the sweet shop. Yeah. You know, you've got a different element there if you don't want to uh, link the buildings. Excellent. Thank you. I've got to say thank you to you for joining me today. It's oh, not no, it's been great. Oh. <laughs> thank you. You've actually, um, poor Claire has had to sit and watch my face for the whole hour. She can't see what you're all seeing at home. But I will go and watch it again to see what you actually create. To <laughs> <laughs> see, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and Claire, if you need to uh, top up on your Copics, you can use that Copic Twenty code on Craft World uh, Craft Stash. Sorry, as well. Yes. Yeah, so um, top up on any of your favourite colours there. So thank you again for joining us. Well, can I just say congratulations to Lulu? Yes. Yes. That's well done. Absolutely wonderful and. Have a happy Easter, everybody. It'll all be a bit different this year, but hey-ho, there we go. Absolutely. And to yourself, happy Easter to you too. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah, um, and awesome. I'm, Thanks for having me. <laughs> you're very welcome. We'll see you again soon. soon. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So th thank you. Yeah, Claire is absolutely wonderful for joining us today. Um, obviously, it's not always easy uh, with the computers, but we're doing our best to bring you as much inspiration and information as possible. So I do have a couple of winners. Uh, there's another offer that I've noticed on Craft Stash that some of you might be interested in. So with Claire's Designs, if you are actually, after seeing the demonstrations and all the products, if you're thinking about purchasing any stamp and die bundle, you can then get a second stamp and die bundle that's half price. Okay, that is again a fantastic offer. Um, the All these deals that I'm throwing at you today, there's a lot to remember. If you sign up to the Craft Stash email, so go on to Craft Stash and you can um, sign up for the emails. You will get an email every morning, okay? That will come through. I think it's usually about 6 or 7 a.m. And you will have the first pick of all of these offers. All of the codes will be there in one email for you. So you won't have to remember everything. I'm just showing you, to, telling you today what is available right now. But there's every day there's fresh offers, fresh discount codes. So make sure you're signing up there. As for Craft World as well, you saw Lumu, she's won a collection on Craft World. It is completely free to join. All you need to do is pop in an email address. Um, set yourself a password and then you can go ahead and you can start looking at inspiration in the gallery. You can start taking part in challenges. It's all really, really easy to do. We're also getting together lots of um, in-depth um, help tutorial videos for you. So to help guide you through that. So I really I would really love to see you over on Craft World so you can be taking part in some of these challenges and having more chances to win, too. Now we have two winners. OK, so um, I should have kept Claire really with me just to do the drum roll. But um, the first winner and this is somebody who commented that maybe Claire should think about the village stream with a bridge, which would be really beautiful. I can actually see the little elves and the fairies um, going over the bridge as well. So that would be pretty. That was uh, Pauline Crosby. So well done, Pauline. You are one of the winners of one of the stamp and die sets and the papers and the stencils. So um, have, just drop Craft Stash a message on Facebook and we'll sort that out. We just need your address. Um, and then the second winner of the other collection and the stamps and papers again is going to be Suzanne Taylor, who has said the village green with a duck pond and a bench for a picnic. So well done to both of you for winning. So in the space of an hour, um, I've announced the winners of over £400 worth of product, okay? This is what Craft Stash do all the time, always giving away product, giving you demonstrations, inspiration, brand new things as well. So we've had those three winners. If you've watched this, you can now pop on over to Craft World and you can answer a quick question about this hour and it will be something really simple as well. And you can enter to win... There's £150 worth of prize, um, and I've got a feeling, a sneaky feeling, that it's something to do with Copics, okay? Not only do we have that Copic discount code on Craft Stash, on Craft World, you could potentially win some. So go and have a look at that over on Craft World. Sign up if you've not already signed up. We've got lots and lots going on. But the big thing this week for you all is this cake stenciling competition. OK, so um, tying in with Daisy May's Bakery, we want you to decorate a cake, some buns. It could be your dinner, whatever it is, some food, something edible. Um, decorate it with whatever medium you want to using a product 
from craft stash okay it could be stencils it could be dyes you could even use your cricket machine to cut out a mask or a stencil or even a cake topper maybe so um send us in your photos so this is going to be on craft stash keep an eye on their facebook page and the instagram it'll all be announced on there i'll add links as well to my social media so you can find it so there's a lot going on lots of giveaways trying to keep you all entertained and creative and crafting while you're at home at the moment so as claire said thank you for joining us i hope you all have a fantastic easter um, especially with these yummy makes and all your cake decorating and baking. Next Friday, I will be announcing the winners of that cake decorating um, competition. So there's five winners for that, all winning £100 worth of Craft Stash products. So I will see you next Friday. Thank you all again for joining me. And um, I can't wait to see you and see what you're making. So take care, everybody.